Hello, today is Monday, March 18th, and here are some radishes I picked. So I planted these, I think, was it in January? I'm not sure. But either way, um, it's taken longer than 28 days for these to grow into radishes that could be harvested. And I don't exactly know why, but here are some of them. I harvest, harvested some last week too, uh, and gave them to my mom. And here are some of the other radishes ready to be picked. Um, I'm letting them get a little bit larger. Also, I just can't eat that many radishes at a time. Um, one thing I noticed is that the pill bugs are eating them. So when you see these little like bite marks and stuff on them, that's from the pill bugs. Um, behind here, the um, five color uh, beets, they're coming along very, very slowly. So I had to go ahead and plant my tomatoes in here with them because uh, I just had run out of time with these. So I don't know if those are going to form. Behind them are the Mikado. I can't remember whether that's a radish or a turnip, but they're finally starting to show above ground. I'm not sh quite sure how big these are supposed to get before I pick them, and I suppose I should check. Um, but it's starting to get warm out, so today it's in the low 80s. Um, probably should water these, they're looking kind of droopy. Um, and I don't know how these are going to taste with the weather getting warmer like this. Although, uh, it's supposed to get cool again uh, starting on Wednesday. So, we'll see. Um, and I don't know what's supposed to warm up again after uh, Wednesday because it looks like after that, at least for a week, it's going to be in the 60s again. And over here on my leeks, still waiting for those to get to be a half inch thick before I pick them. They're almost there. And these are the uh, baby leeks. So the baby leeks are only supposed to get a half inch thick and then you pick them. These are two of my marigold plants. I think I have eight in total. Um, I planted these uh, in order to put them in the beds with the tomatoes to help with the nematode problem. So. The shrimp meal does help for a short amount of time. It's not, it's a short term fix. I'm hoping that maybe these marigolds will be a longer term fix. So I'll go ahead and give these a try as um, one of the commenters uh, suggested. Um, anyhow, so I just grew them from seed myself. I bought some more seed today because <laughs> I don't think eight's gonna be enough for the amount of tomatoes I have in my yard. Anyhow, it looks like the flowers are gonna be pretty, so I'm happy about that. Um, <laughs> I always like flowers around the house, so I'm looking forward to that. And these are going to be giant yellow flowered um, marigolds. So we'll see how those go. Today is the 20th, and this morning I'm harvesting some peas. So I either just steam the peas, stir fry them, or I now have learned a recipe where I crust them in uh, panko bread, garlic, and parmesan. Tastes really good and put them in the oven. So um, these are um, organ giant snow peas here. And then there are some other ones in here, these. These are the snap peas. So um, I haven't really been doing anything to these plants. So I planted them out, um, I think in, let me check the tags. I planted these uh, at the end of October. So they've been growing since then. Um, I put up these sticks because I thought that they were going to grab them and grow up, but uh, they grabbed themselves. Um, although this one seems to maybe have grabbed on to this trellis, but it's mostly they grab onto themselves and grow up. So um, that's what's going on here. I haven't given them any fertilizer. I didn't use any of that uh, pea booster stuff um, that you put in when you plant the peas. Um, I didn't add anything to the soil other than manure at the end of the summer season, but I did that to all my beds. And uh, the only thing I did do was increase the amount of uh, drip irrigation in this box. And these just get watered by drip irrigation. 
Um, so far they're doing really well. This seems to be a really good spot in the yard for them. At some point though, uh, they will die off because it will get too hot and I'll have to figure out how to grow um, these peas indoors. And I was thinking of not growing this variety indoors because this is way too big for indoors, but trying some of the dwarf varieties and seeing how those do indoors. And so if I do that, then I'll make a series of videos about that, how, you know, uh, especially for someone living in zone 9, 10, how they can enjoy, you know, peas year round. So here are my bees. <laughs> they taste really good. Um, they're growing, the vines are growing vigorously and there's lots of peas. Uh, gosh, twice a week I come out and harvest now. So, and some more flowers coming. Um, I saw something about pruning pea plants, but I haven't looked at it in too deeply. Um, maybe I'll take a look at that and see if that's needed to um, maintain production. So as you can see here, this middle part that I harvested last week doesn't have any new pea pods on it, but this upper and lower part do. And that's all for today.